This video is brought to you by Wedge Life Designs, the only place to get new retro theme indie merchandise. WedgeLife98.com. All right, YouTube. Just like I said, last video. Let's go around. We're gonna try to get this Pro X up and running. First things first, we gotta get some washers and nuts on these here motor mounts. Get this thing held in place. All right, guys. We got the motor. Bolted in place, went ahead, put this clamp on, got this clamp bolted to the recoil, got this hose connected to the water pump down there, double check these, make sure they're still tight. So, I guess I'm gonna move forward, toss these carburetors back on, and then that can used to live here, covered a hole, <laughs> pretty ghetto. Oh, um, actually, I think I have some reflective heat tape somewhere we can just cover all that, yeah. Yeah, it's up there. So we'll get that covered up with that for now. And because like, yeah, I could go buy a new cover, but let's be honest, this thing's kind of a cheap build anyways. I got 850 bucks and the used motor had laying around into it. So buying the cover, it's gonna be for the products are. What's that? The products are used Yeah, I got one for the pro car. But anyways, motor's in, gonna throw all carbs on it and pick out the exhaust we're gonna run. Keep on moving forward, get this thing fired up here in no time. Okay, carbs are in, air box is in, most electronics is all hooked up. I think, oh, I'm just assuming I got the right ones to the CDI, it looks right. Uh, I guess we're pretty much down to the point where I need pipes. Bolt some manifolds on, slap some. Oh, I'm probably gonna have to cut this brace out. But anyways, we're gonna go get us some pipes, check some fitment, and uh, yeah, go from there. See if we make this thing go brap, brappity brap brap. Okay, well, it took us forever, but we ended up finding the correct manifolds for these CPI pipes. So, got those thrown on. Now it's time to do a little test fitting and see how much. If actually, I can guarantee that's gonna have to be cut, but. We're going to see what we got to do. Okay. Looks like the twin pipes fit no problem. However, that bracket down there for the stock can, super in the way. There is no way that <laughs> this is, these glass packs are going to fit. So we're going to go ahead and chop those out. See what we got to do otherwise to get this set down there in the bottom. Plugged into these pipes. Hear these CPIs fire up to life once again. Okay, got the old stuff cut out. Get back to uh, test fitting here. See how she goes. Hopefully everything just drops right in. We can fire this thing up. Sick, CPI two pipes are in. They somewhat appear to possibly fit. Uh, this spring tab is broke. I'm gonna go ahead. I got it bent back over. I'm gonna throw a tack on that so it'll hold. I haven't tried to put a hood on it yet, but I mean, they're in there. We'll see what happens, I guess. All right. So we got the hood on, big old gap in the front. I don't have hinges on this hood, but this hood is for sure hitting the pipes. So let's see what we can do is try to remedy that. I know they fit on an edge. That's what these came from. And I've had edge CPI pipes on ProXR in the past. Something is seeming a little goofy though. I'm gonna look this over, see what I can figure out. I mean, the pipes are sitting way, way high, but the can is sitting on the tub. So, you know. Let's see, I gotta brainstorm for a second. Okay, so it's a little geared up the front, but this hood's freaking hammered. But uh, I got clearance. It's not hitting the pipe anywhere now. So all I did was take the can off the pipes. So the can is propping the pipes off. making the pipes it could. Yes, I stood on the pipes. Just trying to make sure everything's 
actually settled in where it's supposed to be. But this can here on the bottom is like inch and a half, maybe two inches too tall. Very, very strange. Okay, so this actually came off a water cross sled. This is all bent to fuck. Went ahead, bent it down a little bit because this is what holds it up on the sled. This slides through the bottom. Look at that, it's pretty fucking hammered. But uh, at least the exits are clear. Uh, we should hammer this out a little. But we're gonna toss this back in, see if it'll all line up now. All right, got my little Flux Core 110 booger maker. Got that welded up. She's all spring down. So, yeah, I think that's as good as a pipe fitment as I'm gonna get for the current time being. I'm not gonna put a million hours in trying to make this fit. But long story short, the bottom piece was all bent shit. It's kind of bent it the other way. I think we're good. She's uh, sitting much lower now. So, I'm pretty sure I could throw some spark plugs in it, a little bit of coolant, and fire this thing up. Hell yeah, let's do it. All right, she is all back together. I didn't prime it or nothing, but we're gonna see if we can get this thing fired up. And full disclosure, this thing is, it's got some pull to it. Like, <laughs> yeah. You pulled it over, all right, yeah, sort of. not enough to start it. Maybe, there we go. <laughs> no. Yeah, she's got some pull to her. Let's see, used to fuel on. Fuel is off. So, now the fuel is on. Here we pulls, see if she'll light up.
so it's like, yeah. Yeah. So after we have stock clutching and throw twin pipes on. But you know, the old Clapper Pro X2, she's running. Mm -hmm. So that's something. <laughs> First ride of the season. Yeah, first ride of the season. <laughs> oh. Reverse and everything still works. run over the damn coolant pans. I always forget they're there. I know. I'll be honest. <laughs> so I'm all riding. Yeah, I see the spider right from the face of the block. Mm. <laughs> I look back, she's laughing at me going over coolant. <laughs> Anyways, uh, till next time. Uh -huh.